Whew. What's up guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivate YouTube channel. Today we did something pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, let me give you a sneak peek. And, uh, well, I made a mistake in how my GoPro on time lapse. So there's the reason we're making this intro. Hee <laughs> Did it die? Oh, the belt! <laughs> the belt! <laughs> yep, yeah, you lost the belt. <laughs> Let me go get a strap. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Reading our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And today, it reads, In weakness, strength. He said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Yes, Cohen? Um, Dane, I don't want it to point. Well, yes. You can spend a lot of time telling your kids how great they are, and I recommend that you do. But eventually, they're going to realize they have shortcomings. Other kids are brighter, cuter, stronger, taller, or faster. They're going to come to grips with personal character flaws or physical challenges. They may be shy, clumsy, tongue-tied, or prone to ramble. A.K.A. Okay, me. <laughs> they may be sore losers or overachievers. They may have trouble con concentrating or taking orders. Whatever their affliction, be ready with this verse. When they finally come to you with the regrets and frustrations about who they are and how God made them, just smile and open your Bible to 2 Corinthians 12, 5 through 10. Tell them you already know all about those personal quirks of theirs and you love them anyway. Tell them everyone has at least one flaw or two or more. Then tell them about Paul's unidentified thorn in the flesh. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Explain how the apostle was grateful for his affliction. Be wise here, Dad. Don't diminish your children's fears or frustrations. And don't forget to finish with that great line from the end of the passage. When I am weak, then I am strong. What about you? What's your thorn in the flesh? What's your defining weakness? How did God help you overcome it? Even as you open your Bible to share lessons with your kids, don't forget to open your own life and share personal revelations God has given to you. Amen. That right there. See what I mean? A mom could take that too. There we have it, Dylan's new pit bike. And then our little Honda. I need to get a sticker that's uh, 
loud AF, boy, because this thing is loud. <laughs> yeah, it's very loud. I just gotta figure out. I'm gonna probably put it up on the front. I'm gonna put the rear mud guard back on eventually, but I gotta kind of wait until I get my exhaust in. I was gonna ask if you needed some plastics. Yeah, I got the, the real plastics. I just I'm gonna wait. Man, I can't. And you bought this not running. The motor not was completely running. bad. Got himself a new motor, and now you got it running. You got your chain adjusted too, or did yeah, you? Yeah, I just it? slid back the, the rear tire back. Heck yeah. So, yes, sir. And the go kart's out there somewhere. There it is. I can barely see it rumbling. Alrighty, there we go. If you enjoy this little dirt bike video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will see you in another video. Have a great night and God bless.